OWCS Week 5 had no EMEA or NA, but in Korea, it had high stakes, last chance qualifier matches, and the top four teams duking it out in a round robin. Unfortunately, there is no more Vesta crew, so the coveted Dart POV is nowhere to be found, but regardless, we got some sensational best and worst plays of the week. Starting off with the first OWCS Japan to make it into the series. This play from Bambi was so crazy that Avril had to at me on Twitter for it. Now, I'm not really up to date with the affairs of Japanese Overwatch, but surely it's not so bad that we gotta go out sad like this. Bambi, if you can hear me right now, think back to when you hit the most egregious and disgusting back cap of all time like two weeks ago. We need to make this man president of the sneak nation, like put bro's name up in the rafters, right beside other hide and seek legends like Amelia Earhart, Snillo, and PGE's aura after his barber fucked him up. Maybe Japan just hasn't been burned enough by C9s yet, because this week in a play playoff elimination match not one but two players walk past the cart as it's being capped like they saw the c9 stopped it and then walked away this shit was so tragic it had the caster synchronized just peep oh. responding with the beats annihilation and overclock no. what, what? Like my man is glabbergasted right now. He cannot believe this. But enough about Japan. Let's move on to Korean Overwatch. Real gameplay where we have Donghak on Ryan. But just look at the presence he has. He made FTG vacate the premises simply because he was walking towards them. They're running out of there like he's prime super before the Discord hoodie started draining his power. And to be honest, I don't even blame him. They're spooked about how they saw bro straight up walk onto whack and drop the hammer on him. Yeti even coordinated the high noon tp with his push they really be moving different these days from the gamer tried their hardest to not become the next victim but could not avoid the dong heart takeover they were on the receiving end of a perfectly executed isis style havana full hold dong hack I owe you an apology. I really wasn't familiar with your Reinhardt game. It's like Yeti saw they were in top four and locked in harder than Ash catch him with his hat turned backwards. You got Viper landing pulse bombs like he's the US during the Obama administration. Knife looking like a forged in fire champion that won by blacksmithing a gun. And Irony having a 5% chance to turn into prime shoe at any given moment. This whole team is firing on all cylinders. Like Bliss is out here winning the Monkey C, Monkey Do, Lucio beat mind game and Ajaxing Violet all the way to a CSGO surf lobby. Unfortunately, you cannot lock in forever, and the troll face can show up at the worst possible time. On map 5 versus FTG, Irony decided to be a pulse bomb magnet and got stuck multiple times in a row by Alpha Yi. Surely, at some point, you just have to swap to cure your bap, because how are you gonna let someone farm an entire clip dump off of you alone? But it gets worse. Yeti were so cooked on their offense that Donghack locked MAGA and went Troll for troll with irony. Bro runs through all of FTG and decides to go on an exploration towards the mega health pack before heading back to his team, but instead got hunted down like he is the One Piece. When Donghack eventually came crawling back to irony, he was nowhere to be seen, and that's because Bro was hiding from Alpha Yi under the floorboards. They say actions speak louder than words, and right now Bro is screaming, I am not built for this. At this point, irony realized he needed to make a play and tried to spin back for his dead homeboy, but unfortunately, Bro had no idea where he was going and ended up offering himself as a sacrifice and i didn't even mention bernard ajax and bliss with the god spear flick a mass trolling event like this is what happens when teams try to have 100 percent lock in uptime falcons understand this so they're okay with their old heads suffering from dementia hanbin just forgot to use his full health shield and he actually shot at the high noon so i don't know if he thought lip just didn't have legs or was stuck in new york traffic but whatever the reason lip is grinning ear to ear that he got an opening kill with Deadeye, and Fielder sees Chio leave his screen 6% off beat and forgets he even existed. No ammo, no healing, no nothing, not even for himself. He is saving that cooldown till the 5v5 versus 6v6 argument dies down. But the Saudi Prince is so chill with funding this gameplay because they got Stalker, who just hit the nastiest deflect in the history of Overwatch. And you can tell this was intentional too. He saw he was about to get bagged up into a McDonald's 
McDonald's Happy Meal combo and hit him with the perfect parry. Bro needs to retire from Overwatch and join the Dark Souls speedrunning circuit immediately. He clearly has the talent and there is probably more money there. But now it's time for the last Lee Jae Gon feat of the week for a while. And Bro made it kind of a tough choice. Runaway bombed out of the LCQ and I gotta give props to my guy because he only Ajax twice. And this first one's not even on him. Decay's out here jumping up and swerving off to the side trying far too hard for this dub you're on genesis bro give up literally in this map he straight up swan dived into a 1v5 situation so i know it cannot be that serious he's inting so hard bro turned into an album cover this is absurd the next ajax however is definitely on him it feels like he doesn't even care if the beat gets off or not because he is playing front and center in brig bash range right in the open with zero cover like we get it you're here to have fun everything's just a fucking game to you but would it be possible to play to get your alt off this one time but the real Lee Jae Gon feat of the week is the simplest he straight up walked off the map there is nothing more to it bro plays Lucio so much he forgot no one else in this game can wall ride he had choice a1 confused as hell for a second too but then he remembered who he was dealing with when he looked at the top right of his screen but enough about the troll face we gotta talk about lip he is just too different who else is allowed to hit the midtown train flank on defense one tap fielder and just walk back to his team there's no Lucio speed boost there's no help he just decided to do this like yeah they did coordinate the push from main but still this is direct ranged behavior bro didn't even mean to break proper's ankles like this he just did i just don't get it he walks around like it's a call of duty single player campaign and casually gets 5ks he makes it look effortless and that's because it is for a guy like him all these players are a lot stronger than me because if i saw lip taking a nice evening stroll in my general direction i'm gone call me goche the way i'm somebody you used to know and even though it's just another day for him he still takes the time to clip it and put him in the taj plays like that is why he gets the go ahead to run it down on Junkrat for the one time. The rest of Wack are going through the other door, but he does not care and he does not wait for Falcons to stop looking. He just goes. Apparently not everyone can walk in like that because even with a beat engage, Bernard simply does not touch the point in C9s. This clip is a work of art and should be hung up in a museum. If this Overwatch thing doesn't pan out for Violet, Picasso could have his goat argument challenged because I know his ass could never perfectly time this beat drop with the point unlocking. To end off the video, I'm just gonna run Violet being the best turret Lucio of all time. FTG straight up played for his beat to be the first alt up. Like after this fight, he for sure had the highest damage on the round and had the world record for most headshots in a single fight on Lucio. You might say he's just jumping and shooting. This is not impressive, but nah though, this is goat behavior. Work smarter, not harder. Lee Jae Gon plays like he's on crack and has a higher APM than an overworked MAPPA employee, but that does not mean the gameplay is better respect a goat anyway those are my highlights of the week let me know your favorite or any i missed in the comments down below and if you see anything and want me to cover it feel free to at me on twitter like avril did or join my discord in the description to alert me have yourself a good one deuces